Hello guys, in the last few days I experienced a huge battery drain on my Huawei P10 Plus. Uh, as you can see, huge battery drain in standby mode or idle mode during night. So I didn't find the cause of that uh, problem, but after reading some news, um, I saw that Android warning as Google update could be killing your smartphone battery. Uh, actually, it's a Google Play service. Uh, cause the biggest consumption with the issue even happening when devices were in standby mode. So, uh, if you don't know what uh, uh, what is Google Play Services, uh, actually Google Play Services is used to update um, Google applications and applications from Google Play. If I check uh, that uh, service, This is the version, uh, last version from August uh, and uh, probably that version is not uh, quite compatible with my Huawei P10 Plus or MOE, uh, let's say MOE 9. Uh, if you check permissions for that service, you, you will find that Google Play service has access to all your data on phone. So, uh, uh, I don't know why that, that application have access to all the, those things, but uh, I can only guess what, uh, what is this, but um, I, I'm going to turn off some options such as call logs, camera, location, telephone. Um, one of thing you can also do can do is to go to application uh, and Google Play series and in um, storage clear cache of that application also you can disable that uh, service and um, tap to deactivate and un uninstall it uh, means that uh, uh, those services will not uh, uh, uninstall permanently on this phone, but uh, it will be replaced with uh, factory uh, one. Uh, so basically, you cannot uh, delete uh, Google Play services in your phone. Of course, if you have unrooted uh, phone. Uh, uh, second thing, what you can also do is to install very famous uh, application. Uh, call, uh, called NapTime. NapTime is a uh, application uh, for optimization battery. Uh, so basically, NapTime uh, doesn't require a root. Uh, it's a good thing. Instead, instead of uh, it's just simply require you to run some commands from uh, permissions in your ADB. I will show you later in this uh, video how to do that. Um, also, NapTime allows you to take control of those which we can all agree is one of the best development uh, that uh, uh, have come from Android operating system over the past couple of years. Uh, turns those mean that the system goes in like ultra battery uh, saving mode. If you uh, turn on aggressive those, uh, uh, basically trigger those with, uh, within 5 seconds of device screen no going off. So, uh, with nap time uh, you can um, disable Wi-Fi, mobile data location, Bluetooth during those uh, in order to improve your battery life. Uh, also, you can track your uh, those states in history. Uh, so that you can uh, shoot, you can look to see those triggers, how long is those when it wake up and basically give you more insight to what's going uh, on with those with, uh, which is the greatest thing on a droid phone. Um, so yeah, uh, for installing you need a desktop computer, PC and uh, uh, you must install some uh, application, uh, minimal IDB fastboot tool uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that.
Okay, first thing what you need to do uh, to install NapTime is a minimal IDB and fastboot tool uh, to install on your PC. A link with that installation you can find below in the description of this video. After installing that uh, application, you need to, of course to uh, connect your uh, Android phone with uh, PC. And the uh, important thing is to go to System, uh, in Developer Options, uh, enable uh, USB, de USB debugging. Uh, it's an uh, important step. When you turn on uh, that USB deb debugging, um, you are going to uh, uh, this uh, uh, program on your PC and run the command prompt. So, uh, to check uh, is your uh, Android phone uh, detected from uh, your laptop or PC, uh, you need to press ADB devices just to check uh, is uh, device attached as you can see uh, my uh, phone detected this is serial number of my phone so uh, I can use uh, this ADB mode uh, to force installing nap time permissions so uh, if you uh, when you install nap time just just to show you uh, before you grant permissions in adb uh, you will uh, see that uh, uh, notification panel so uh, you cannot uh, use nap time bef uh, before you uh, force some permissions uh, using ADB uh, so uh, the best way to uh, force uh, two commands is to go to uh, NapTime uh, Play Store uh, page and in description of that application you will find the, the, those two um, commands uh, this is the first command permission dump co copy and simple paste in command prompt click enter and that's it uh, second command is uh, this write security settings copy and paste in your command prompt click enter and done so after that uh, you can uh, you can use nap time fully okay this is uh, first screen so uh, if you want aggressive dose tap to aggressive dose but uh, you will get one notification about uh, aggressive dose that uh, you must uh, uh, check battery optimization and uh, don't optimize uh, nap time uh, application so i'm um, tap on this screen and uh, it will goes to uh, ignore battery optimization on my phone um, I will uh, click there, all application and find nap time. Uh, as you can see, uh, nap time don't allow to um, to ignore battery optimization. It means that uh, I turn uh, must uh, click this to allow and. Uh, uh, in this uh, situation, nap time ignore battery optimization. So your aggressive dose is fully active at the moment. Just to show you uh, my battery now. Uh, this is uh, a time when uh, aggressive dose uh, was active. So as you can see, minimal battery drain uh, and uh, uh, 
this is uh, actually uh, daily usage of uh, phone so uh, now in standby mode my phone uh, works uh, very fine no battery drain uh, and um, that's it guys if you like click on like or subscribe to my channel and see you again bye bye